I'm a forester here and of all things this is going to be a book report on the Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. This is one of my favorite books of all time. It was required reading back when I was in high school in the early 70s. I paid $1.50 for this book. You can see that there. Back probably in 1972. And you can tell I've got my money's worth out of it. I probably read it four or five times over the past 40 years. Books have come a long way, but I still prefer to read a hard copy book over a digital one. These yellow dog-eared pages bring back a lot of memories. Here's where I am now. I'll finish it shortly. The storyline is similar to a WROL situation that we talk about in our videos. The Jodes were the main characters. They were an original prepper family. They and thousands of families like them were displaced during the Great Depression. They hit Highway 66, living out of this Hudson Super 6 that they converted into a truck. They headed from Oklahoma toward California. They were preppers because they dealt with every obstacle that came their way. They didn't have any tactical knives high-capacity handguns or tactical flashlights. They simply had a will to survive and basic life skills. They could grow crops, butcher a hog, or repair an engine if it broke down on the road. This book brought a couple of questions to mind as I've been reading it about the online prepping community. And I wanted to share that with you. Number one, would hard times bring people together or pit them against each other? Well, it certainly brought the Jodes and families like theirs together into a large mobile community. They traveled by day and camped by water at night. They looked out for each other and shared with others in need. But it also brought together what I'll call the establishment. The California landowners who felt threatened by the Jodes and others in need lashed out in violence against them. It was the establishment's hired guns who busted up camps to keep the migrants from settling down and organizing. In one such incident, shots were fired at a migrant worker who had refused to be pushed around any longer, and a stray bullet hit a woman in her tent. The shooters simply wondered in amazement at the damage a 45 could do to a woman's hand. The hard times certainly brought people together, but it also pitted groups against each other. My second point is, on whose side, or who do you identify which the most in the Grapes of Wrath, the establishment or the Jodes and others like them? I think most of us would like to think we're one of the Jodes, honest, down-to-earth, God-fearing, hard-working people. But then, isn't the point of the guns to protect what's ours? When you think about prepping, are you focusing more about providing and sharing, or about protecting what's yours? That's something only you know. Probably to a lot of us, we don't think about either. Guns are maybe just a form of recreation. My third point is that think about the channels that you watch online. Which channels are actually helping you prepare for harder times? For example, who would be better prepared to survive for a WROL situation? Pooter 1176 or Weapons Education? My money's on Pooter. Folks, guns are great, but food, clothing, and shelter are where it's at. Check out a copy of The Grapes of Wrath. I look forward to your comments.